Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in previous video we have drawn the front view and top view of this object, right? So let's draw the side view of this object. So here this is my direction of observer front view. This is the direction of side view. So this becomes my left hand side view. So left hand side view I should draw on the right side of the front view. So this is my front view and this is the right side of my front view. So I have to draw my left hand side view over here. So first task is we first make a light rectangle having the uh, dimension equal to the width and height. So in a top, in a side view which two dimension are visible? The breadth and height. So height and breadth we have already measured. So maximum height is 97 and maximum breadth is 38. So let's first make a light right angle having the width 38 and height 97. Or even we can take the projection from here, from the front view. So let's start. We have measured our maximum width equal to 38. So let's take 38. This is my light rectangle, right? So in this rectangle, I can fix my uh, side view, left hand side view, right? So for a left hand side view, we have to view from this side. So this cylindrical object will be represented as a rectangle. Similar with this cylindrical object will also be represented as a rectangle, right? So let's start first locating. Let's first identify the surfaces which are visible in side view. While observing this object from this side, this surface is visible. This surface is also visible, this wave is also visible, this surface is also visible, this part of the problem will also visible, right? So these are the main part which are visible. This hole will be hidden in a side view, similar way this hole will also be hidden in a side view. So let's first draw this rectangle. So this inclined edge will be represented as a visible line using a straight continuous line, right? So throughout this height, on my left hand side edge, this will be represented as a straight line. So I have to make this left hand edge of the object as a using visible line. So let's draw it. So this is my visible line. Similar way, this will be 38. So this width is already 38. So this would be 38. And then vertically we have to move up to this point. We can take a projection from this point. So vertically we have to move up to that point. Now let's first project the center line whenever there are circular entities in the object. Make sure you first project the center line so that uh, the process for deriving for drawing particular view will be little bit easier. So I have this center line. Let's first look at that center line. So this is my references. And this would be my center line. Let's draw center line over here. Similar way, draw another center line over here. I have drawn these two center line. Now when we see from this side, this is a cylindrical object. 
this cylindrical object will be represented as a straight or uh, as a rectangle so uh, the size of that rectangle would be uh, width equal to 38 and height equal to we can take a projection of this point from the front view so here is our front view so we can take a projection of this point and up to that our rectangle will be visible so let's draw that rectangle so this is my that point right so i have to draw it using visible line this is the cylindrical object which will be visible as a rectangle in a side view right similar way let's draw this cylindrical object the width of this uh, is 28 so from this edge we have to move up to 28 and uh, the height of this cylindrical object is 24 or even we can take the projection of this point as well right projection of this point so let's first identify the width Initially, I have drawn the light line because I don't know where, uh, up to which point I should draw the dark line, right? So, again, take the projection of this point and draw the horizontal line as well. In a side view, this wave is also visible which has a width equal to 8 millimeter right so from this age we have to draw a wave at a width of 8 millimeter again we don't know the length of width we can take that uh, measurement from the front view so first let's mark a line at a distance of 8 millimeter So I have marked that distance up to 8 millimeter using light line and this inclined wave will be represented as a straight line in a side view right. So we will connect this uh, outer circle of the upper cylindrical part and outer circle of the lower cylindrical part with a straight line. So this is nothing but this corner point and this corner point. Let's join it using straight line. Now hidden part we uh, still remaining. So we take we can take a projection from the front view to draw a hidden hole. So this hidden hole is. at the breadth of 28 millimeter and this hidden all is throughout the width right so we can take a projection so this hidden all is complete Similar way we can take projection for the upper part. So this is our complete part or this is our complete left hand side view. Right. Let's do the dimensioning. We have to do dimensioning in such a way that no single dimension will be repeated and there will be no the missing of any dimension right so whatever dimension which are available in our isometric view most of the dimension we will represent it in our orthographic view so this is a circular part 
that will be visible in a front view so we can give that dimension in a front view so let's give that dimension in a front view This outer circle has a diameter equal to 50. This outer circle has a diameter equal to 24 and inner circle has a diameter equal to 12. The center to center distance is given 60 millimeter. That let's that represent it in side view. The width of this wave is 8 mm that we can give over here in a top view. This length is 28 so that is nothing but indicate this length so that is 28 so this is the complete dimensioning of the object Make sure all the available dimensions which are uh, represented in a in isometric view, all the dimensions are covered, right? So I hope you understand the concept how I, how I have drawn my left hand side view, right? Uh, do like, share and subscribe to my channel for such more content and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.